Let's figure out which fraction is greater, 3 fourths or 5 eighths. And the way we do that, we need to get a denominator that's the same for both 3 fourths and 5 eighths. When we do that, we compare the numerators and we can tell if 3 fourths is greater than 5 eighths or 5 eighths is greater than 3 fourths. Since 4 goes into 8 2 times, let's just multiply 4 times 2, because that equals 8. So 8 for our denominator here. Down here we already have 8, so let's just keep this as 5 eighths. And now we have the same denominators. But we can't just multiply the denominator up here by 2, we also need to multiply the numerator. That's because 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we're just multiplying 3 fourths by 1. It doesn't change the value, just the way it's represented. 3 times 2, that's 6. And 6 eighths, if you divide 6 by 8 or 3 by 4, you get the same answer, 0 0.75. These are equivalent. But now, since the denominator is the same, we're going to compare the numerators. And when we do that, 6 is greater than 5, so 6 eighths, that's greater than 5 eighths, and therefore 3 fourths is greater than 5 eighths. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.